Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Colette Stinger. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Tens of thousands of Flint residents are waiting to find out if they're eligible to get a piece of a $600 million settlement in the Flint water crisis. The reported settlement between the state and the residents of Flint is still subject to a federal judge's approval. According to the New York Times, anyone who was living in Flint between 2014 and 2016 could be eligible for a claim. Now, payments could be made starting in the spring of 2021. Well, a series of Zoom meetings will start this morning to give an update on flood recovery efforts here in mid-Michigan. The Midland Area Community Foundation and the Long-Term Recovery Group will host them. Leaders are expected to talk about resources, help from FEMA, housing support and construction and volunteering in the wake of the flood. Today's Zoom meeting starts at 1030. You can register by going to the hot link section of WNEM.com. Well, I support the 1% Veterans Food Pantry in Saginaw needs your help. They're collecting donations today and tomorrow at Compassionate Care Home Health. That's on Bay Road between 9 and 4. Some critical items needed are canned beef stew, chili, spaghetti sauce, and hygiene items. Now here's Chris with a look at your forecast. Uh, the Glenn, a beautiful day ahead of us for today. It looks like we'll see some summertime temperatures return back to the 80s today. Mid 80s appears to be the most popular landing spot later this afternoon. As we go through the next five days, 80s will also stick around. It looks like we'll be in an above average stretch into parts of next week, around five to 10 degrees above average. And humidity values should stay pretty low, so we're not expecting that to be a big deal. Your first one five hour by hour forecast shows a few passing clouds this morning should turn into sunshine as we go throughout the day and also another mostly sunny afternoon and evening. It looks like tonight will be just fine too. may see a little more cloud cover in some of our northern counties, but that's about it. I think the showers will mostly stay to the north of us and we'll do it all over again on Friday with the only chance for rain on Friday. A few lake breeze showers that might develop in parts of Iosco and also Alcona counties. Seven day four Forecast shows plenty of 80s into next week. A few days pretty close to 90 with some smaller chances for rain Monday through Wednesday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.